Hello world, today I'm going to show you how to install the Arch Linux distribution with the GNOME environment on a computer that used to have Windows. I also want to warn you that in this tutorial I'm installing drivers for an NVIDIA graphics card. If you have a different video card manufacturer, check out the description below this video. I won't bore you anymore. Let's get started. Step 1. We need a flash drive, at least 2 gigabytes. Step 2. We need an ISO image. It can be downloaded from the official Arch Linux website, but for your convenience, I'll leave the link in the description below this video. Step 3. We need to create a bootable flash drive. Many programs can help us with this, but here are the most popular ones. Rufus, Belina Etcher, Ventoy. You can choose any program you like, but I'll choose Ventoy because it allows you to put several system images on one flash drive, while the other programs on the list do not have this functionality and in fact do not differ from each other in any way, except for the interface. Step 4. Install the Ventoy program. First, download the program from the official website, link in the description. Unpack it to a convenient location. Before running the program, insert the flash drive into your computer and transfer all important files from the flash drive to another location. Run the program, that is the Ventoy 2 disk period X file, select our flash drive in the device field, click install, and agree that all our data will be erased from the flash drive. Now we just transfer our ISO image to the Ventoy media, which will appear in this PC, and we're done. Step 5. Let's find out if our computer supports UEFI. To do this, if you have a Windows operating system, press the Windows key R and write msinfo32. Look at the BIOS mode parameter. If it says UEFI, then your computer supports UEFI, but if it says something else, then the computer does not support UEFI. Remember this information. Step 6. Save all important files before installing Arch Linux. Simply move all your important files, photos, videos, documents, music, to another drive or to another location. Step 7. Shut down the computer. Step 8. Turn on the computer and when the system starts up, press the button to enter the BIOS menu. The button may differ depending on the motherboard, but here are the most common options. F2, F10, F12, Delete, or Escape. But you may also need to press other keys, such as Tab, Shift, or Control. You may also see a message on the screen telling you which key to press to enter BIOS setup. Once you're in the BIOS menu, you can navigate here by using the arrow keys on your keyboard and the Enter key, you need to find the Secure Boot field and change its value to Disabled. This field is usually found on the Security tab. Now go to the Boot tab and select your flash drive. If you are in the Boot menu, this menu allows you to choose which drive to boot the operating system from. You need to turn the computer off and on again and go to the BIOS menu to disable Secure Boot. If you are in the Boot menu and you know that Secure Boot is disabled, you can simply select your flash drive and continue installing the system. Usually, you can identify a flash drive by the abbreviation USB in its name. You can also find the name of the flash drive on its packaging or on the flash drive itself. Step 9. Start the system installation. After you have selected the flash drive, you will be faced with the window shown on your screen. Select the first option and press enter. Now we need to connect to the internet. Write the command ping space google period com into the terminal. To stop the ping, press control C. And if you do not get a ping as in the video, then you do not have an internet connection and you most likely have a Wi-Fi adapter, not an internet cable. We write the command device space list and see our Wi-Fi device. It can be, for example, WLAN 0. Now write the following command. Station space, the name of the Wi-Fi device, for example, WLAN 0. Space connect space, the name of your Wi-Fi network, for example, TP-Link. Press enter and enter the password. Wait about five seconds and press enter again. After that, enter the exit command and press enter. Enter ping space Google period com again, and this time everything should work. Now write the command time detectal space set hyphen NTP space true to synchronize the time. Next, we need to find out the name of the disk on which we will install the system. This can be done by entering the command lsblk or fdisk space hyphen l. The first command displays a simplified list, the second, a more detailed one. I will install the system on a disk called SDA. Be careful, as the list shows not only your disks, but also flash drives and other storage devices. After we know the name of the disk on which we will install the system, we need to format it. This can be done with the command wipef space hyphen, a space slash dev slash the name of our disk. Now it's time to partition the disk. The command cf disk space slash dev slash the name of our disk will help us with this. The partitioning should look like this. One megabyte on the BIOS boot. 512 megabytes, if you don't mind, put 1024 megabytes on EFI system if your computer supports UEFI. If it does not, do not create the EFI system partition.
the rest of the memory on the Linux file system. Next, use the arrows to move to write. Write yes, press enter, move to quit, and press enter again. Check the markup with the lsblk command or fdisk space hyphen l. Now let's create the root file system. We have two options for file systems, btrfs or xt4. btrfs is a new file system. It has more new useful features, easy system snapshots, that is backups, and it works better on SSDs. So if you have an SSD drive, BTRFS is most likely the right choice for you. XT4 is a stable file system that works faster on HDDs than BTRFS. If you experience frequent power outages and have a desktop computer, XT4 will seem like a more adequate choice, as information will not be lost in case of a sudden computer shutdown compared to BTRFS. So if you have an SSD disk, choose BTRFs. If you have an HDD disk or a desktop computer with frequent power outages, or you just need a stable file system, choose XT4. To create the root file system, write the command mkfs period btrfs space hyphen f space slash dev slash the name of the partition with the Linux file system. For example, sda3 for btrfs or mkfs period x4 space slash dev slash the name of the partition with the Linux file system. For example, sda3 for xt4 respectively. Now let's create the file system for the EFI system partition. Remember that if you don't have UEFI support, just ignore everything related to EFI. So let's create it. Write the command mkfs.fat space hyphen capital F32 space slash dev slash the name of the partition with EFI system, for example, SDA2, and press enter. Now mount the root partition. To do this, use the mount command space slash dev slash partition name from the Linux file system space slash mnt, Create a directory for mounting the EFI system partition, mcdir space hyphen p space slash mnt slash boot slash efi. Mount the EFI system partition to slash mnt slash boot slash efi. Mount space slash dev slash the name of the partition with EFI system. For example, sda2 space slash mnt slash boot slash efi. Now, before installing the main system packages, it is advisable to install Arch Linux Keyring and update the keys so that you do not have any problems during the subsequent system installation. To install Arch Linux Keyring, write pacman space hyphen capital S and small y space Arch Linux hyphen keyring and press enter. Now, update the keys with the command pacman hyphen key space double hyphen refresh hyphen keys. Updating the keys will take quite a bit of time. For example, it took me about 10 15 minutes. Step 10 Basic System Installation. Install the main system packages with the command packstrap space hyphen, i space slash mnt space 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 hyphen, devil space linux hyphen, zen space linux hyphen zen hyphen, header space linux hyphen firmware space dos f stools, space and hyphen u code space nano. I did not include the btrfs hyphen progs package in this command because I'm using the xt4 file system, which does not require this package. If you use the btrfs file system, be sure to install this package. Now let me explain a little bit about the packages we are installing. Base and base devil are the basic packages without which we will not be able to work adequately in our system. Linux Zen and Linux Zen headers are the kernel. Linux firmware is the firmware. DOS stools is needed for the FAT32 file system, which we use for the EFI system partition. Even if you don't have an EFI system partition, I recommend leaving this package. AMD UCode is a microcode package, but for AMD processors, if you are using an Intel processor, install the Intel hyphen UCode package instead. And Nano is a console text editor that we will need to further customize the system. Install the packages by pressing the Enter key. If you are asked to choose a package to install from a list of suggested ones, as in the video, just press Enter to choose the default package. I'm talking about the Mechanitbio package. Then just write the letter Y to agree to install the packages and press Enter. After installing the packages, we need to write the following command, without which further installation of the system will not make sense. The command looks like this. Genfstab space hyphen capital, u space slash mnt space double, greater than sign space slash mnt slash etc slash fstab. Now write arch hyphen crute space slash mnt. Next, set the time zone with the command ln space hyphen sf space slash usr slash share slash zone info slash press the tab key twice to see the region hint and write the one we need slash again tab twice and write the city space slash etc slash local time. 
Now we synchronize the time with the command HW clock space double hyphen systoac. Now let's add languages to the system. Open the locale period gen file using the nano editor with the following command, nano space slash etc slash locale period gen. Comment out the languages we need. For example, English, N underscore US period UTF in uppercase letters hyphen eight. You can do this by removing the number sign before the language. The ending of the selected languages must contain UTF eight. Remember the full name of the language that will be the language of your system. Remember it. To exit the text editor, press the control X key combination, after which the editor will ask you if you want to save the changes. Press Y if you want to save the changes and N if not. After we exit and save the changes, we need to set the language for our system. We write the command nano space slash etc slash locale period conf and write lang in uppercase letters equals the desired system language. For example, in underscore US period UTF in uppercase letters hyphen eight. After that, exit the text editor and save your changes. Now write the locale hyphen gen command to generate the languages we have commented out. Also, if you're going to use the Cyrillic alphabet, it is advisable to understand the vconsole period con file. This guide will not cover this file, but you can learn more about it on the internet. Specify the name of the computer by entering it into a file that can be opened with the command nano space slash etc slash host name. For example, I entered the name arch. I recommend that you use only lowercase letters for the computer name to avoid future errors. Remember the computer name you entered? Now write the command nano space slash etc slash hosts. And after the comments already written, enter the text that I enter when installing the system. The only thing you need to change is to write your computer name instead of Arch. Exit and save. Write the command mckinitypo space hyphen capital P. After that, enter the command passwd and press enter. Enter the password for our root user. The password is not displayed, but it is entered. Press enter and enter the password again. Press enter again. Now we install the bootloader and other packages needed to start the system. To do this, enter the command pacman space hyphen capital s space grub space efibootmgr space network manager. Grub is a bootloader. Efibootmgr is a program for working with UEFI. If UEFI is not supported, the package is not required to be installed. Network manager is a program that is needed for the internet. Finish the grub installation with the grub hyphen install space slash dev slash disk name, for example, SDA. The name of the disk, not some partition. Press enter. Continue the grub installation with the command grub space maconfig space hyphen o space slash boot slash grub slash grub period cfg. Press enter. Next, write the exit command. Next, unmount the file system with the command u mount space hyphen capital r space slash mnt. Reboot with the reboot command. After rebooting, write root, press enter, and enter the root user password. Open the sudoers file with the command nano space slash etc slash sudoers. Comment out the line that starts with percent wheel all equals and so on. It is important not to confuse it with another line. Add a regular user with the command user add space hyphen small m and capital G space wheel comma video comma audio comma storage space hyphen is space slash bin slash bash space your username. Again, I recommend using only lowercase letters. You can also add scanner after storage, as in the video, if you're going to work with a printer. In general, wheel video, audio, storage, scanner, and others are groups, and the command we just entered adds a user who is a member of these groups. For example, the video group allows you to work with video, the audio group with audio, and so on. I've provided you with the basic groups, and if you want to work with, say, floppy disks, search the internet for information about a group for working with floppy disks. Now write the command passwd space the name of the user you just created, Press enter, enter the password, press enter again, enter the password again, press enter again. Next, write the exit command. Now let's log in to the newly created user. To do this, write the name of the created user, press enter, enter the password, and press enter again. Next, enter the sudo space su command. Next, enable network manager with the system saddle space, enable space network manager command. Reboot with the reboot command. Step 11. Install the finished system. Log in as a newly created user, ping Google with the command ping Google period com to check the internet. Let me remind you that you can stop the ping by pressing Control C. 
Enter the command pseudo space nano space slash etc slash pacman period conf. Uncomment the lines multilib and include equal slash etc slash pacman and so on. Exit the text editor and save your changes. Next, enter the command to update all installed packages and download drivers for the video card, sound drivers, fonts, etc. This is how the command looks like pseudo space pacman space hyphen capital s and u in small letters space nvidia hyphen dkms space nvidia hyphen utils space lib 32 hyphen nvidia hyphen utils space nvidia hyphen settings space vulcan hyphen icd hyphen loader space lib 32 hyphen vulcan hyphen icd hyphen loader space open call hyphen nvidia space lib 32 hyphen open call hyphen nvidia space libs and vactral space network hyphen manager hyphen applet space pipewire space pipewire hyphen jack space pipewire hyphen also space pipewire hyphen pulse space pav u control space lib 32 hyphen pipewire space lib 32 hyphen pipewire hyphen jack space noto hyphen fonts space noto hyphen fonts hyphen cjk space noto hyphen fonts hyphen emoji space tdf hyphen liberation all packages with nvidia vulcan and libsyn vectoral are packages for nvidia video card drivers network manager applet is an add-on for network manager all packages with pipewire and pavu control are sound drivers and all packages with fonts and TTF liberation are fonts. Write the sudo space reboot command. It's time to install the GNOME environment and the XORG windowing system. Write the command sudo space pacman space hyphen s space xorg space xorg hyphen server space gdm space eog space file hyphen roller space get it space gnome hyphen backgrounds space gnome hyphen characters space gnome hyphen control hyphen center space gnome hyphen session space gnome hyphen settings hyphen daemon space gnome hyphen shell space gnome hyphen shell hyphen extensions space gnome hyphen terminal space gvf space mutter space nautilus space sushi space gnome hyphen sound hyphen recorder space gnome hyphen tweaks space neo fetch space htop space git space flatpak you will now see information about most of the packages on your screen you can also add the packages you want to install to the command i would like to mention the gnome tweaks package which is needed for advanced customization of the gnome environment neo fetch a package that displays information about the distribution HTOP, a process monitor, and Flatpak, an isolated application platform. Be warned that we did not install a browser. To install, for example, Firefox, enter the command sudo space pacman space hyphen s space Firefox, or add the Firefox package to the previous command. There are also browsers that are more complicated to install than just installing a package with the name of the browser. All we have to do is enable GDM, GNOME Display Manager, and reboot to get the GNOME environment working. To enable GDM, write the command sudo space system cycle space enable space GDM. After that, we enter the reboot command and that's it. After restarting the computer, the GNOME environment should work and we can fully use our system. I hope you liked the video. See you soon.